guys, Jen here from a and Suds and Such and Be Scented. I'm making whipped soap. It has been a very long time since I've made whipped soap and I miss making it. So, <clears throat> I've already went through the whole process of the whipping the oils and adding the lye and everything in here. Um, I almost overfilled my pot. With making whipped soap, um, it does deflate some, obviously, you can see, but um, at one time, this it was completely full. And I was like, holy cow. <laughs> but I'm going to make the margarita whipped soap. I've made it before. I haven't made it a long time. So I'm going to pour out a couple colors. stay white. Just stick it over there out of the way. It's already got everything added in here. I'm going to do two different kinds of greens. A turquoise and then a brighter green this time. This is the groovy green. They're just pre-mixed with a little bit of the liquid oils for the batch. Oh, I need some spoons for spatulas. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Whipped soaps are so much fun to make. I watched a video. I watched um, my video of making the, uh, what was it? the margarita I think it was and I was like you know what I want to make some more so that's what I set off to do today I'm going to make a couple batches of whipped soaps the texture is different with whipped soaps, obviously. Um, you get pastel colors. And the soap floats. There are some countries, I think I've said this before in a video, that if you donate soap, it has to be soap that floats. Um, because a lot of the people have to take baths in the creek, uh, streams, etc. So their soap has to be able to float so they can get it. <clears throat> but, any who's it? I'm going to do this similar to the same way I did it the very first time with, um, uh, doing like a spoon swirl or something and then doing the salts on top. Make sure you guys can see this okay. There we go. Now you can whip it longer if you want it thicker. Um, doesn't matter. You can also whip it longer if you want to pipe with it. You just want it light and airy. And this should just about fill this mold. It 
it's just a different way of soaping. Makes a bigger bar of soap, but it weighs the same. Save the wrist for the top. sister-in-law it's a teaspoon um, and it allows you it's got a longer handle so you can get it down in there and not get it all over you this in here and then I'll bang the mold down. If you guys want to learn how to make whipped soap, I have a video of making, it's called Pink Sugar Plum Whipped Soap, and I have detailed instructions, step by step, the process. If you guys want to search for that video, it will give you a recipe. Now this one I switched up and I'm using um, cocoa butter in it and not mango, I think, or maybe I have that backwards. I need to look at my recipe. has mango butter in it and not kokum. Let me smack this down. Hopes to release all those air bubbles. As you can see the mold is pretty full. And my molds are generally never this full. It's the same size batch that I normally do when I use these molds. But where the soap is whipped, it causes, you know, this extra height. Now, I'm going to take my gloves off to open the salt. I'm going to put a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt on top. Just down the center. Just 
gives it a little extra. I'll bring you back when we cut it. I am back to cut my first whipped soap. This one is the margarita. Um, I've actually waited two days to cut this soap. <coughs> whipped soaps are a bit softer. Ooh. Nice. I am a bit stuffy headed. And the top with the stuff on there. I can't smell a thing. <laughs> nice. The last time I made whip soaps I was a bit too impatient and um, they're really soft so it's best if you wait an extra day. So I did this time and much better much smoother cut they turned out really nice even though I can't smell a thing from my nose These will be up the end of February for purchase. I have a listing going on now, uh, Valentine's stuff that's going out this week. Swirl in there. All right, we got one more cut, and this one is done. Cut the samples. We'll call this one good. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.